go. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I think I caught it. I think I caught it before. Oh, that's great. Boom, guys, I'm not making no more mistakes today. My name is Ariel, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielEMP.com. We're going hard in the paint today. Today is October 2nd, okay? We have an amazing guest by the name of Mike Schmidt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pull up, buckle up, call your friends and family, tell them to buckle up. Let's go, guys. Run it up. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Boom. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Ariel. Let's give a huge round of applause to our guest today, Mike Schmidt. Woo! What's up, dude? How are you, man? Dude, we are grateful to have you on the show, man. This is awesome. I love this. I love your background. It's cool. Dude, I did it just for you. And I even pulled out the, I even put out the mic, you know, put out the mic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I walk around with my mic all day. <laughs> so I put out the, I put out the mic, just, I put out the mic just for you because this is a special day. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Denver, Colorado, October second. Okay, guys, I'm gonna bring Mike back in, but before we do that, before he tells us what he does. I got to do the self promo. So here we go. It's what pays the bills. ArielENT.com. I repeat, ArielENT.com is the best way to support me. Let's go check me out right now. Okay. Boom. I do. Oh, look, I usually have it ready. Here we go. ArielENT.com. Take you to my store. T shirts, sticker, and pen for free when you buy a t shirt. Pull up, guys. We're almost sold out. Almost sold out. Once you're there, check out my music, arielent.com. There's my two albums there. Thank you guys so much for listening and sharing. When you're ready, I do photography. When you guys get married, when you have kids, I do quinceaneras, okay? If you guys have a live concert, I come do and do pictures too. All right. I do professional photography, arielent.com. Another great way to support me is the links down below, my PayPal, my Venmo, my Apple Cash. I got the shout outs here to get the shout outs, Okay. Um, so thank you so much for your donations, guys. It truly means the world to me. It helps me out so much. Um, another great way to support me, check out my YouTube channel. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. There I am. Boom. My YouTube channel. 180 subscribers we hit today. I repeat, 180. I'm trying to hit 200 by the end of this month, uh, October. So let's try to hit 200 by the end of this month, guys, at YouTube, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. I do so many podcasts. Check them all out. I got content for days. You can binge on me for weeks. You can even binge on me for months, all right? So come through. Check out all my work. I do live shows too, okay? I even do uh, guest appearances on other podcasts, okay? So thank you guys so much. I do shout-outs to businesses. Check out my YouTube channel, guys, arielent.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout-out to Carolyn. Shout-out to Marvelous. Shout-out to Nick Fiore, Twisted Grape Radio. Yeah. And shout out to um, Marvelous for uh, your guys' donations. Uh, it goes a long way. So thank you guys so much. I give you shout outs every week. Yeah. All right. Um, next, we have the prayer. Here we go. This is the prayer because this is what I do. This gets us all in the same frequency. So here we go. I just want to say, angel of God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard. To rule and guide. I just want to say thank you, God, for having our boy Mike on the show. Uh, shout, I want to say, uh, God, thank you for Nick Fiore for connecting us. Actually, Mike connected us to Nick. Uh, uh, so that's other way around. But either way, it works out. Tomato tomorrow. Uh, ArielENT.com. Thank you, God, so much. Um, thank you, God, for our perfect health, for our families. Uh, thank you, God, for our dreams and wishes coming true. And just this amazing time on life. Amen. All right. That's it. That's all I got. Bye. Tell us who you are and where we can follow you, bro. Well, you know, fat old and ugly. Um, let's see. Well, we'll start. <laughs> um, yeah, you can uh, find me on LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's my uh, uh, very dignified tr or trying to look like a dignified businessman. Hey, you look a bot. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, it, um, we basically we lift buildings is one of the things that we do. 
Um, and we replace foundations, we repair foundations, we do a lot of water mitigation, you know, stuff you don't think of until something goes wrong with your house. And uh, I've been doing it for about 25 years and uh, it's a lot of fun. My team is my family as far as, uh, you know, what we do. I post a lot about some of the projects, try to take the fear away you know, from uh, spending a boatload of money on fixing your house because, you know, you put a $25,000 kitchen in, you get to enjoy it every day, put $25,000 worth of steel in the ground and you're like, where the heck did my money go? You know, and uh, it happens a lot. And so we try to educate people to, to basically, you know, understand and a forum like yours is a perfect platform because it really does give people an opportunity to listen to it, not be so afraid of it because it is a scary thing. You know, I, I joke a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm really easy, but I'm not cheap. And, uh, you know, uh, the stuff that I do is very expensive and you never get to see any of it. And so we're also not fear mongers just because there's a crack in your house doesn't mean that your house is broken. I get that a lot from people coming from our state. And they're just like, oh, man, we can't find a house anywhere. It doesn't have a crack in it. And I'm like, well, if you do, I'd love to see it. You know, my own house has a crack in it. It's like big deal. It's part of living here in Colorado, you know, and if you're not used to that, you know, we'd like to educate you on it. And, um, you know, anytime you have any questions, just go to my LinkedIn page. And uh, it is the only social media because I am so busy. I spend about an hour to an hour and a half a day on LinkedIn kind of answering stuff. But that's about the only thing I have um, because I just don't have any time for much else. And I'm always thankful for all my clients, all my referrals and, and great thumbs up when I put stories on, especially from you, because I find your stuff entertaining too. And it's a nice break from what I do every day because my stuff is serious, but I try to have a little bit of fun with people and, you know, make some really cheesy dad jokes because my kids just roll their eyes when they hear wow. them, you know, and uh, I always remind them that, uh, you know, my cheesy jokes put you through school. So yeah, they're pretty funny. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What, yeah. What I, that's, that's, that's it right there. You know, that's beautiful. Yeah. Man. So tell us like, like a story of like, so when you fix like a thing, like a project, like a project you did. Well, um, I think the biggest project I ever worked on earlier in my career was we basically stabilized and partially lifted five wings of a hospital while in operation. You know, cool. and uh, yeah, there were a lot of phone calls uh, from people in the hospital saying there was an earthquake. And oh my goodness! All, yeah, and and most of the the, re the reception just said no, it's just Mike. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, we we've done some interesting uh, projects. We did a very interesting one where uh, some builders did some really stupid things, and it was actually on Christ the King Church. And uh, they had plump, put plumbing through the middle of the walls. And when the plumbing broke, um, it got really nasty. And the middle of the building started to sink. Wow. And, uh, we had, yeah, we had to come in and basically rebuild it. We had a, 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 one of our oddest jobs I think we did was just a little while ago where a, uh, a client wanted his garage to actually be higher than his house. Now, this wasn't a little garage. This was a 1,500 square foot garage. And uh, we went to start lifting it to put a new foundation underneath it. And we found out that whoever built the old foundation, it was so bad that when we started uh, chipping away at the concrete, the entire foundation fell apart. And so we had to... Basically, we had this building floating in the air while we tore out the entire foundation and built a brand new one to set the garage back down onto it again, but 14 oh, inches higher. And that's something you just expected in the middle of the job. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, you know, and I tell people, I says, I can't see in the ground, so I can't see what previous people did, yeah. you know. And in this case, it was probably a DIY project. Uh, wasn't permitted, wasn't engineered, you know, the usual stuff that people try to hide. And, uh, you know, it was basically boom, when we found a lot of crap, and it ended up costing him a lot, a lot of money. I, um, I said to him at one point, why don't we just tear the whole thing down? He start over again. He goes, No, I like the garage. And I'm like, Oh, my God. <laughs> 
course he does. Of course. Yeah, of course, you know. And then he wanted a heated floor in the garage because he had collector cars and he didn't want them sitting in the cold. Uh, and I'm like, okay, it's your, yeah, it's your money, man. You know. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, we we do some pretty wild stuff, and uh, okay. we've actually picked up a whole house and um, replaced the uh, the the entire foundation on it. And, and put it back down again, you know, and uh, people call us and say, hey, I want to have a full basement. I have a crawl space. And I'm like, I usually tell them, sell your house and move because they don't realize how expensive. The last one I just did down in um, or up in, um, God, where was it? I think it was in uh, Lafayette. And it was $160,000 to dig out the house underneath and put a brand new 11 foot foundation underneath it i'll drink to that you know goes to my you know workers and uh payroll but i'm like holy crap but um i get to meet interesting people while i do this i mean you know i i i i i went to a house a few years ago in, in downtown denver and uh I, you know, I don't know much about sports um, and I'm not a sports person. I, I like car races and that's about it. Yeah. And so I went to this one gentleman's house and he come to the door and I looked and I went, holy crap, this guy's big, you know, and um, uh, I, I walked in and, um, you know, I was looking at his place and he had some problems there. And then I walked into his office, which happens to be in the front of his house. And it was a big room. And uh, I noticed he had a lot of football paraphernalia okay. uh, in, in that room and I'm like wow you really like football and he looked at me he goes you know you have no clue who I am and I'm like no I don't um wow. I have no clue you know and I'm, I won't say his name because That's you know weird. I like to protect their privacy yeah. yeah and uh but he he looked at me he goes wow this is really refreshing you're just here to see my house and not here to you know uh worry about uh who i am or you want an autograph and all this stuff and i said you know i have so many celebrity clients and the fact that i don't gush over them you know they like that yeah and well, i respect their privacy and 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 I, for me i don't care if you're a celebrity i mean i've interviewed some cool people because of uh my connection with nick you know over at uh, twisted grape radio when he yeah. challenged me you know to 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 get a rock and roll interview and my very first one was you know one of the members of uh, uh the grateful dead and, and and nick's like you got who for when us and I said, yeah. And he goes, how the hell did you do that? Yeah. And I says, well, one of my clients is best friends with them. And she grew up with them. And oh. as she always put it, she didn't care much for their music, but they were fun. And so that's how we got it. And then because of him, we got another interview. And we're trying to shoot for some other interviews with other people. And so, you know, I, I look at TGR as just a bunch of old rocker guys who like to have fun and and actually enjoy the sound of their own voice even though mine's annoying as hell you know so i do have you know some couples <laughs> stuff that i do on the radio show and and nick spends weeks and weeks and weeks um uh, editing my stuff because i have a real nasal voice and i breathe too heavy in the microphone so he bought me this really nice microphone right here you know and uh, you know, he, he set it up and showed me how to set it up so that I'm not so close to it and, and spitting and breathing heavy into it like a really bad porn star or something. <laughs> wow. Shout out, to, shout out to Nick for the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, and uh, but I mean, I've had people like uh, group uh, members of Cheap Trick. Um, you know, I, I inspected one of their homes. Um, and I even had a, another football player again, who I, I thought I had seen him before. I thought I might've recognized him, you know, and, um, but, uh, again, you know, he's looking at me, he goes, you don't know who I am, do you? And I'm like, 
I'm not sure, but you know, I really don't care. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just like it's your house. Yeah, you're like you know? right now where you're like, I don't just, yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. And, and and to me, you're just another person. Yeah, you got a little bit more money than other people, but you know, you still got a house that has a problem, and I'm here to fix it. That's right. <clears throat> you know, Dude, I love it. Yeah, and it, it like to keep it simple, keep it honest, keep it up front. Yep. You know, and um, I have no marketing other than my LinkedIn. Everything I do is based on word of mouth. Bro, same here. Everything I do is just social media. Just, yeah. just, just yeah. for free. I mean, I don't even have Facebook. Yeah, me either. You know, that's how old and stuffy I am. But, um, you know, I, I would rather spend time talking to people and being out there and, 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 you know, helping them and making sure that they don't get fear mongered into fixing things. Because unfortunately, in the construction industry, and we all know it, the reputation of my industry kind of sucks. It really does. You know, not too many people trust it. It's kind of like used car salesman insurance, you know, and then than us <laughs> and and so i you know i'm tired when uh, when i go to somebody's house and i say yeah you got a few cracks welcome to living in colorado move on and they're like well you're not recommending any repairs i'm like no yeah and they're like why uh, because it's not that broken you know and, uh, you know, we're regulated by an organization called DORA, which is Department of Regulatory Agencies. And they basically state that a company like us, we can't stamp our own stuff. So I always have to have an independent engineer, you know, come in and, 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 and verify my findings. And the last thing I want to do is, is have an engineer come out and say, are you hurting for money or are you stupid? How long have you been doing this? You know, I don't want any of that because I've got ex-wives to do that for me, you know, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. If you ever want relationship advice, do everything opposite to what I've done for the last 40 years and you'll have a great life. I'm there telling you. you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I tell it to all my kids. <laughs> you got to tell them. You got to tell yep. them. Yeah, yeah. I says your dad was an idiot, and uh, you know he's great in business, but he sucks in life. You know, so it's just like whatever. So I just uh, you know, but I, I poke fun at a lot of things because we we do take things so damn seriously all the time. Everybody's so easily offended. You know, um, I, it's amazing when you know when I go up to somebody and they say, "Hey, Mike, how are you?" I says, "I'm great. I'm fat, old, and ugly," and they're like, "Oh," and I'm like it's okay. You can look at me and, and you don't have to be appalled. I'm okay with who I am. Thank you. You know, because I think I'm funny and that's all that really matters. <laughs> that's all, exactly. Dude. That's all that matters. It's, it's you, what yeah. you feel inside. That's all that matters. Right. And, and I find that a lot of times with people, you know, when, when they understand that you are a human, you have human emotions. You're not just a business person looking to take their money. I think a lot of cases it helps put them at ease, you know, because having a house and having a schmo like me come in there and say, oh, by the way, yeah, I'd like to lift about $27,000 out of your wallet and you're not going to see any of it because it's all going to be below the ground. People are going to look at you funny. Mm-hmm. You know, and they're going to go, uh, excuse me, what? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's about how much it costs. It, on average, it costs about fourteen to $15,000 a corner to fix a house, a foundation. That's a lot of money, you know, and not a lot of people have that kind of money just sitting in their bank account going, oh, yeah, let's spend it on Mike and we won't see any of it, you know. Yeah. And But I also try to protect consumers when they're buying houses you know, and I'll call people out. So you covered that up. No, I didn't. You want to try that statement again? <laughs> yeah, you covered it up. And, you know, I just happened to be the guy that found it. Yeah. You know? And I don't let it go. I, I tell investors, if you're going to invest in properties, do it right. Yeah. You know, don't cover things up. If you find something wrong, yeah, it may screw your whole budget and you may not make much money out of it. But you know what? Have some integrity so that the next time you'll learn from it and integrity 
is is in shortcoming around here. Wow. Yeah, I I I, I saw an article that uh, the other day that was saying that integrity is actually it's losing it's it's losing. It's like yeah, nobody these there, days. There's no definition behind it anymore. No, it's like integrity. Yeah, it's whatever I think it is. <laughs> like I swear, like they did like a poll about it, and they only like two or three out of ten had integrity, and it's just yeah, like, yeah. 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 And, and, you know, it's maybe it's where my age is, you know, maybe the fact that I've been screwed over a few times on things, you know, and it's not a fun feeling. I don't like it. Nope. You know, and, um, you know, people in my industry, because uh, there are some bad apples when it comes to clients, too. You know, and, and one of the things that I've found is that people can think if they scream loud enough threaten enough say i'm going to give you every bad review online as possible that i'll buckle in and give them some money off a project and i'm like well you ran into a really big wall yeah because i i, I don't go for you can write all you want online i don't care <laughs> i personally am okay with what we do and how we do it and what we do and more importantly, I always have it permitted and it's always independent engineering where required. Gee. So you know what? If you want to look like an idiot and write a bad review, yeah, you know, I can't stop you from doing that. Yeah. But that's why I don't subscribe to a lot of social media. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, yeah. What do they call them? Um uh trolls. Yeah, trolls or uh, us old people, we call them armchair critics. Oh. Yeah. And basically they sit back and they're, you know, and they can type their, you know, three letters a minute because they don't really know how to use a, a keyboard very well. And, <laughs> and, and they write stupid stuff, you know, and I'm like, really? That's what you want to be noted for? Is that? Seriously? Yeah. You know? it's Yeah. And, and so... This kind of stuff, I like these kind of forums. It's face to face. We can have fun. You can be serious. You get the message across. You ask me a lot of questions and I give you a lot of bullshit answers. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like listening to you seriously. And then you say something like that. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I know. It throws people off all it the does. time. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I walk up to people's houses and I'll be like staying in the front yard going, yeah, guys, this is the house for the bulldozer and the dynamite. Just, just bring it over here. And they'll people be looking at me like bulldozer dynamite. I, I thought you were just here to look at my house. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I didn't want to waste any time. So I figure oh, I'll just bring the stuff here ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is this, I hope this guy really listened to what I asked him to do. Yeah. <laughs> The whole time I'd be there watching you, man. I'd be like, this guy better not do some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, uh, it, it is. And, you know, the thing is, is that it's just like when I did the shows with, uh, started doing the shows with Nick on TGR. It was, you know, he, he's like, what the hell just came out of your mouth? And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> That is hilarious, bro. Yeah, but he would very didn't he really off didn't often um, uh, edit it. He basically let okay, we were laughing, we were having fun. What the I, hell? Let it go I through, do. you know? Yeah, I just leave yeah. it in there. Yeah, you, you live in Denver, uh, Littleton, actually. Did you just hear that plane fly by? Yeah, I can hear it right now. Yeah, I heard it too. That's a military jet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Must be for one of the games. Oh, could be, could be. Yeah, because we get a lot of, um, like where I live, uh, a lot of the, and this is my favorite military plane. I'm not a big military person, but I like the military, the Warthog. That's my favorite oh, plane. Okay, okay, okay. It was the plane, you know, the plane built around a gun. I mean, <laughs> how much more fun can you have than that? <laughs> and they fly overhead a lot here, and I'm like, oh, I love the sound of that. <laughs> I'm, over by, I'm over here by the Centennial Airport. Oh, okay. You're not that far from me. Yeah. You're only about 20 minutes. Yeah, dude. I'm over here by between DTC and Centennial and the jets yep. fly out of there. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of fun with it. But, uh, you know, um, having the, the type of clients I do in the construction and, and how it works well with getting to meet people with, um, you know, TGR. Yeah. I never, ever thought the two would work together, but they do. They do. They're a lot. They're That's a lot so of fun. Funny, dude. I like TJ. Yeah. Dude, tell me. Here's here's a question. What yeah. do you, what do you like? What 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 uh, what's your favorite kind of hobbies besides your business and TGR? I find a lot of old stereo equipment. Okay, and if I, in my limited knowledge and, and, and brain capacity, can restore it somehow and uh, fix it, I donate it to people who don't okay. have stuff. People who like to get into vinyl music, you know, and they want to start off with a, a system. Um, yeah, I, I, I do that. And uh, because I hate to see the stuff get thrown away. Really? And I have, oh yeah, I have a lot of very wealthy clients who don't sell things. They just <laughs> throw them away. And, and uh, so I always offer them money and they say, oh, you like it? Yeah. And they say, well, I'll help you load it up in your car and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. And so I have helped a lot of families set up with basic entertainment, TVs, music, you name it, furniture. I found uh, I had a gentleman who had a big ass house up in the mountains and he couldn't sell a lot of his furniture. So I got my guys to rent a big truck They went and picked it all up. And we got we set up several families with the stuff. And, and this was not cheap furniture. I'm talking four or five thousand um, dollar, wow. you know cases beds uh stuff like that and i'm not here to make any money out of it that's beautiful you know. to do that dude giving back to the community yeah yeah you know and it's fun and some stuff yeah. that if it's really really nice and i have room for it i've kept it you know my my wife can't leave her house she's very very ill and uh, so she was unable to walk up and down the stairs and so um i wasn't in an estate and it was about a year ago, and um, the gentleman had purchased, uh, you know, one of those um, chairlift things for the uh, the yeah. stairs, yeah. and it was never installed. Unfortunately, he passed away beforehand. And so I said to his daughter, I says, how much do you want for it? And she goes, you don't look like you need it. I says, no, but my wife, she doesn't walk very well anymore. And she goes, well, then my God, take it. And so my guys picked it up. I had somebody install it in my house. And so now my wife can at least go up and down the stairs without running the risk of falling. That is so nice, man. And all yeah. you had to pay was the installation. Yeah, yeah. And basically, you know, that was a hundred bucks. Wow. And these things are expensive. They're seven, yeah. eight thousand dollars. Oh yeah. You know, and uh, so I can, I consider myself very lucky and blessed. I always offer money for everything. I never assume anybody will give anything away, you know, but uh, when people see that you either have a need or you have um, a need to um, uh, uh, basically help somebody else out and they can see that that's a positive you know, we I just had one a little little while ago, one of my real estate agents and his uh, grandmother had passed away and she had a lot of gorgeous stuff. And um, there again was another one of those chairlift things in there and they didn't know what to do with it. And I says, well, I do. I have somebody who could use one. And we went and picked it up uh, along with a beautiful dining room table and chairs for a family that didn't have one. And I'm like, you know, this this is the way it should be. Instead of throwing things in a landfill, you know, we're helping people out, Yeah. you know, and, and, and that, that, that makes me feel great, you know, and, yeah. um, you know, so, and, and I'm not looking for accolades, you know, I, I never do that. I, a lot of times we'll try and get people stuff without finding out where it came from. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm a pretty, well, I'm not low key. I mean, I got a big mouth and a loud voice, but um, I, I'm, I'm not looking for recognition, I guess would be the way, you know, to say that. I just like to have fun. Um, when I found some cool stuff that Nick could use for a studio, man, I was all over that like a wet blanket. And I'm like, I showed up at his house and gave it to him. And, uh, you know, he's like, what's this for? And I said, <laughs> because I can. 
right. you know so yeah and 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 that's what makes it fun and uh it's just like with some of my clients if if there's something that's not a hundred percent right with something else you know we found something i'm not always the first one to go oh yeah by the way there'll be an extra you know five hundred dollar charge to that if we can do it and it takes a few extra minutes here and there so what go do it you know it, it, the, one of the problems I find a lot of cases with, with, with businesses and stuff like that, and I'm not knocking them because, you know, it's their business, but it's, you don't have to be greedy to be successful. You know, everybody in business has a right and is entitled to, and I use that word entitled the right way, um, is entitled to make a profit. You know, that's why you're in business to make money but offer a good surface, provide good products, don't be a butthead, and don't be greedy. You know, and if you, if you take those approaches, you know, um, I mean, I watch a lot of these uh, uh, sales seminars, you know, yeah. online, and I'm like, wow, if anybody were to talk to me like that, <laughs> be out that door so fast, make your head spin, you know. <laughs> And uh, I, 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 I've had people come to my house and my wife will leave the door open upstairs, you know, so she can hear. And um, I remember I had this one guy with this flooring company and we were planning on putting a new floor into this, uh, into my music room that I have uh, where it's just strictly vinyl. And, and so he came in and he immediately started sizing things up and okay so yes i drive a bmw okay mm -hmm. big deal i'm the only construction guy that shows up on a, on a on a work site not in a white pickup truck i drive a black bmw i happen to like it and my wife said i could have it so yeah. she says i can have it then i'm gonna have it <laughs> is, this a, is it an suv or like a car? yeah it's an suv yeah yeah, it happens to be an M series, but it's still an SUV. Yeah. <laughs> so it does go like I'm very happy with it. Yeah, it goes like stink, you know. Um and you know, he and then I have basically a bigger house, you know, and I had a big family, you know. I, I got six kids and seven grandkids, you know, and uh so he immediately sized me up as somebody who is going to spend a lot of money. He came into the wrong house because <laughs> I'm a cheap bugger. <laughs> and, you know, he, he listened to me and then he told me for a 12 by 15 room, it would only be for this flooring. Are you ready? And this is how he put it. It would only be five thousand dollars and i said does that come with two lap dances and a cheap hooker because it better what he said what he he, <laughs> he just looked at me and i could hear my wife upstairs laughing because she was having a ball with this oh one. Oh my gosh yeah and, and he goes what do you mean that's a reasonable price okay it's a 12 by 15 room. It's a decent room, but it ain't no $5,000 room. Wow. Yeah. No, you know, and, uh, he, I said, well, you know what? I'm going to say that I'm going to talk to my wife. He goes, you need your wife's permission. Oh, I says, no, God. we're married, you know, we're married. So, uh, basically it's not a matter of permission. It's a matter of talking to my wife because we're married. Why would he even say something like that? Yeah, he, you know, oh, he thought he was all this and, you know, I, and I'm like, are you kidding me? You're using all of these lines? Are you kidding me? You know, and, and uh, so he says, you, you're not going to make a decision today. And I'm like, well, you're pretty smart. No. <laughs> so I get a phone call two days later from his manager. Yeah, I love that line. You know, it's just like, if you don't have the balls to make your own decisions, don't call the manager on me, you know, and, and uh, he goes, you know, because you're a businessman and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to do is make a deal for you. And I'm like, OK, I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is the biggest line of bullshit I've ever heard. You ready for this? Twelve hundred dollars. 
So he was going to charge me five thousand, even at twelve hundred. I know he's making a good profit. Oh yeah. And I, I again, I don't, you know, making a profit is what it's all about. But rape and pillaging without bringing Vaseline is not. No. Oh, <laughs> you know, and and I just laughed at this manager. I says, "Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now?" You really had the balls to call me and tell me twelve hundred bucks after he told me five thousand. Are you serious? And he goes, well, you know, it's because you're a businessman. I'm like, wow, how big is that shovel you drag around you with the bullshit on it? Because it must be huge. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so I said basically, so I, you yeah, know, you yeah, a hundred percent. Because I know somebody that. Um, just recently, like a couple months ago, getting her getting the floor done all upstairs, uh, she got a, she got a quote from this one place, eighteen thousand. She called. Somebody, <laughs> she would call somebody else. She got a, a five thousand dollars. Yep, yep. You know, it's it's this 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 sniffing out and thinking how much do I think I can get versus. See, with my pricing, just to give you an idea, I have a, 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 an AutoCAD program where I make the designs and it puts all the pricing together and everything. Yeah. And anybody in the company that does it for me as an estimate, it's all the same. Yeah. We don't increase our prices. We don't decrease our prices. Our prices are what they are based on what it takes to make money in this company. Simple yep. as that. Yep. You know, it's not like, well, you know, I got a sales guy and, uh, you know, if he charges twice as much, he'll make twice as much commission, you know, and they do that. And that's, the, that's where that lack of consistency comes in, whether it's you as an individual or my corporate clients, everybody gets the same price. Yeah. And that's the way I like it because it's fair business. It's the right business. You know, and uh, yeah, I get people that bitch and complain and says, why don't you offer discounts? Because then I was charging too much in the first place. Mm. You know, because you don't give things away in business. Got it. So if you're discounting, you're charging too much. Got it. I like that. You know, and uh, yeah, it's just like the amount of money you're charging me to do this, you know. <laughs> Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> I had to bust your chops. <laughs> We've been on here for 45 minutes. I got one more question. And yes, ma'am. Um, and then I, at three o'clock, I have to be in Highlands Ranch. Dude, I, I woke up seven o'clock, nine o'clock. I had to be in Parker for a volleyball tournament to see my niece. And then at two and no, three and five o'clock, I have to go see my uh, nephew play football. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, man, it's gonna be legit. It's gonna be a busy Saturday for sure. And uh, sure. so, uh, dude, we've been—I can't believe we've, dude, we gotta do this again. Uh, yes, this is just cool talking to you, dude. And just chill and talk, and I like it. I think cool be you, me, and uh, Nick. It'd be cool. Be oh good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till the two of us start laughing. I oh, know. Shit. I, I'm just gonna, stay, I'm gonna just chill here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch you guys talk. <laughs> Yeah, we get going. I mean, my oh, face will go beat red yeah. for laughter. <laughs> we gotta set one on. I'll set one up hopefully with us two and him. And uh, yes, it'll be super entertaining. I can already oh. tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, thanks so much for coming on the show. I got one more question here. Sure. Uh, I just want to show people where they can follow you one more time. And that's on the LinkedIn. Let me bring that up one more time. And we do have a web page too. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. We do have a web page. And uh, it has an extremely good looking picture of me. <laughs> I know that's funny. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. <laughs> and, your website, but did you put it on the LinkedIn? I don't see uh, it. I'm not sure. Um, oh. Yeah, um, but I'll give it to you. It's it's www. Yep. U T Rockies I E S dot com. Perfect. Here it comes. Here it comes. We do it live. Uh, and we do well, it live. there's, 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 there's me. <laughs> got the beautiful mic right here. There we go. Yeah, that's right. There we are. And you know what's amazing? Nick made this. Oh, my God. Shout out to Nick, of course. 
Dude, that yes. guy, that guy has he his, does everything. I was going to say, he has his hands on everything. Right. He's ugly, but he's really good. <laughs> Yo, Nick, I didn't say that, bro. <laughs> I did not. I, do, I didn't. Care. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Dude. yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely need to get all together on on a on a on a Zoom call and just go at it, man. That's gonna be super oh yeah, cool. I'll be super yeah, cool. Definitely. That's, that's your website, guys. Go check out my boy right here. Okay, let's go check him out, Mike. That's utrockies.com. Check out his website, guys. It's amazing. That's cool. cool. Check it out. That's cool, man. Yep. Yeah, it's got a lot of neat stuff. Takes away all the fears. Of, of what it takes to do, you know, the projects. You show a lot of pictures. There's me pretending like I'm strong. <laughs> Gosh, dude, that's super cool. It looks, it's super professional, dude. Yeah, yeah, Nick does a wonderful job. I mean, you know, he is an IT professional. Uh, he's retired, but, you know, he knows his shit, so I like it. Beautiful, dude. That's it. That's utrockies.com. And make sure you follow uh, him as well on LinkedIn, which I can bring it up right here. Let me minimize this. Yep. Boom. Right there, LinkedIn. Michael A. Schmidt, president. No crypto or dating, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to say, who wants the fat old ugly one oh, anyways? Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question here comes from my boy Luis Aguilera. Luis uh -huh. Aguilar. He says, "Any advice for anyone going through a tough time?" The smile, laugh, and know that there is probably somebody else a hell of a lot worse off than you. Pretty you much. Know. Yeah. yeah. Because and, I went. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I thank God just for me being alive because I, I, I just thank him, yeah, you know, just thank you for me waking up this morning, God. And then right. after that, it's just a plus because um, there's people that, you know, didn't wake up this morning. There's yep. people that are in the hospital, that, like, in the hospital, maybe just, just, you know, just, you know what I mean? There's people just like, you know, already know, like you said, man. Yeah. And if you wake up and you look in the mirror and it doesn't break, you got a lot of advantages over me, man. <laughs> that's how we do it here at aerial entertainment podcast aerial ent.com guys let's give michael schmidt a huge round of applause because i'm just Thank so you, man. he came on the show i can't wait to get you me and nick on the show that's gonna oh be absolutely very, that's gonna be very cool i'm gonna no. i'm gonna set that up dude so be ready for that here in a few months <laughs> Sounds perfect. All right, Mike. Thank you again. Um, Ariel's Entertain Podcast, arielent.com, available on all podcast platforms. If you guys, oh, I keep, uh, if you guys can remember, rate me on Spotify and Apple with the five stars. Apparently, that throws me on the algorithm really well. Okay. So if you guys could do that, thank you so much. Arielent.com for the merchandise, everything, guys. Truly means the world to me. The donations, thank you. And then um, uh, love yourself. And love the animals, love nature, guys. Let's go. Arielent.com. I'm going to tell my DJ drop the track. Here we go. Mike, God bless, dude. We'll stay in touch. Thanks, man. She Appreciate it. The paint, Much bro. love. Liked it. Loved it. Guys, that's how we that's do. Follow back, baby. You already know. Shout out. Good song, good tune. Catch as fuck, bro. That's how we do. I'm about to go home. I got to go home, grab a quick meal, maybe some apples, some bananas, and then I got to get back on the road to go see my niece. Or I actually go see my nephew play some football now. And then come home later this evening. Congrats. You better win. Yeah, he will win. He will win, guys. Shout out to my boy, QT Dub. He did this track. He was a huge fan of the podcast. He shot me this. He did this by himself in the studio. So shout out to my boy, QT Dub. Shout out to my boy, Mike. Shout out to my boy, Nick. The Ore, Super Great Radio, all the way. Okay? Guys, I'm just so grateful. All the listeners listening, all my best friends listening. Thank you, thank you, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com, available on all podcast platforms. Uh, we're talking about YouTube. We're talking about Apple. We're talking about iTunes. We're talking about Spotify. We're talking about Google. We're talking about Tidal, Amazon. Okay? Guys, I'm just so grateful. Enjoy life. Okay? Take deep breaths. Take your time where you go. Much love. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We are out, baby. Woo! Go Tom Brady.